Hey guys, my sunny afternoon. So I'm looking at some of my solar projects. This is a solar light from the garden, which isn't working. It's been in the sun. If I hold my hand over there, the LED in there should be lighting up, and it's not. I mean, it's uh, it's looking pretty pretty awful anyway, rusty. It's obviously got wet. So we'll have a little look, see if there's anything we can do to get it working again. It's not economic to try and repair it. This would have cost a pound at the most. But we'll have a look, see if it's save salvageable. All right, first thing, see if we can get in. Okay, uh, that does look a little bit, um, <laughs> a bit sorry, doesn't it? The important bit is that one chip there. Uh, we'll have a close up, see if we can see the actual number on it, but it's a fairly common chip. Uh, we got a rechargeable battery there just a tiny one it'll be a little nickel, nickel metal hydride one one more switch there i'm just trying to work out what's actually holding it all in place oh that is actually a screw under there We need a smaller screwdriver bit than that. Oh, that might do it. Okay, things that usually go wrong with these when I look at them. The on-off switch. Regularly, the contacts in there are corroded because it all gets wet. Um, oh, I can actually see one leg of the LED has rusted right through. Let's see if we can go close up on that. You can probably see, you can see daylight. So it's possible everything's working apart from the LED. We could just try a different LED there and see if it works. I'll get some contact cleaner and give it a good spray, clean it up a bit, and we'll see if we can swap the LED. That's the contact cleaner spray I use. I'm giving it a little spray. I was just thinking of swapping it out for a blue one. Just for something different. That might upset it because it needs a different voltage, probably. But we'll try it with a blue one just for something. I'll put a meter across the battery. See if we've got anything. Can we see that at all? Yeah, that's light off the solar panel going to the battery. So if we lay the panel down, it drops away, lift it up. Yeah, so there is the panel still working. And it's going to the battery. About half a volt going towards the LED. I did have a circuit board in the window ledge there where I'd made one of these up from scratch just to demonstrate how they worked. If I remember, I'll put a link in the video description. What I'll do is I will change that LED now anyway. 
and then I'll go and put this in sunlight or um, a halogen bulb to charge it up and see if we can actually get anything in there. Blue LED soldered in place. If we put a battery across it, we're working. Next thing I think is that switch is probably no good because if I let's rig that up again so you can see it. Okay, if we go across the battery. We know it's not up to power, but we have got about one volt in that battery. So if you follow the track along, we're up to there, up to there on one side of the on off switch, go to the other side and we got nothing. Now the easiest thing to do there is just put a solder blob straight across the on off switch because we don't need it. We're never going to turn it off. So I'll just put a solder link straight across, straight across those two tags. All right, looking at the circuit board, that is the, I'm guessing, positive leg, the red wire going down to the solar panel. And that white wire back there is the negative leg from the solar panel. So positive leg goes to the positive of the battery. The white one goes over there. And then that tag there is that diode going over to there. And that track must be the negative of the battery. So negative of the battery along that track to a diode, over to there, to the solar panel. So the solar panel is feeding the battery via that diode. Also, that track comes along here to the on-off switch that I've just put a solder blob straight across to make it permanently on. And then that track comes back here, and that is one leg of the LED. The other leg of the LED goes along to that track, which is that inductor, back end of that inductor. Can't quite see whether that goes directly to that leg of the circuit, uh, chip, or whatever you want to call it. Four pin device. That's the controller chip that senses whether there's light shining on the panel. If there's light shining on it, it ensures that the power is going to the battery. If there's no light shining on it, then it lets the power go to the LED. And because it's only a 1.2 volt battery and you need more like three volts to run the LED, then it will be using that little induction coil to generate a back spike to actually power the LED. It's using that coil as a... Um, uh, putting power into it and then switching the power off again generates a back spike. You add that back spike to the power that's coming in anyway and you get enough voltage to light the LED. So it's actually pulsing even though you can't see it's pulsing when it is on. But it's not working at the moment. I'll go and hold that under a halogen light for a while to see if we can charge up that battery a bit. I've skipped forwards a bit. I've reflowed the solder on every tag. 
there was a gap in the track between the LED and the track that goes down to here. So I've bridged that with a lump of solder. And then as a very temporary measure, you can see I've soldered an ordinary one and a half volt battery across the legs of the rechargeable battery. Uh, as you can see, the LED is on. If I bring that up so the solar panel is receiving light, it switches off. So on, off, on, off. So that chip is working. We've bypassed the on off switch. And as I say, I've reflowed the solder on all the tags on everything. And it is now working, but that battery itself has got no power in it. I could change that. That would probably cost me more than the um, solar light cost me anyway. But we might be directly charging that battery. So if I just disconnect it, let's see what happens. No, nah, there's not, an, not enough charge in that nickel metal hydride to actually run it. I'll put that back on there. Yeah. So circuit is working. Battery is not. <laughs> Moving on a bit. I've got a single battery compartment there. So we can now a rechargeable battery in there and during sunlight hours as long as that's in the Sun it'll be charging that battery it would probably struggle to charge that fully we'll find out this is one out of my waste bin anyway it was going for recycling so June 2019 that one should have been got rid of but it still holds charge um, and if we cover that over it lights the LED so what I'll probably do is put that in the window ledge and see if it does actually charge up that after the night because if I leave it in the window ledge tonight that will come on and run that battery down so the challenge will be Tomorrow, will we get enough sunlight to charge that back up again for tomorrow night? So I'll put a note in the video description or in the comments to say whether it worked or not. I think it will struggle. Bearing in mind it's only supposed to charge that one up. Which is... Forty milliamp hour, and that one is eight hundred milliamp hour. So that's twenty times the capacity of that one. So it will it will struggle to charge that up. But if it charges it up enough for it to light it up again tomorrow night, then that'll be good enough. Because this was going in the bin anyway. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.